quick little video to solve this uh, rational equation. I see a common denominator of y plus 4, so I'm going to multiply every term by y plus 4, this one and this one. And then those two y plus 4s, well, this one will cancel with that, this one will cancel with that. So really, I have all I have left is y squared is equal to 16. Use the square root principle. So I'll square root this side and square root this side, remembering to put a plus minus on this one. So the left I get y is equal to the square root of 16 is 4. So a plus or a minus 4. Feeling good there? But if you take a look back here, where are you going to plug that number in? I can plug a positive 4, because mm -hmm. 4 plus 4 is 8. That's OK. But if I plug in a negative 4 there, negative 4 plus 4 is 0, so it can't work. So 4 is my only answer. Negative 4 doesn't work when you check it out. OK, um, now there's another question. Let me just go check it out. Sorry. Number 11. x plus 6 over x equals 5. x plus 6 over x equals 5. Okay, it's an I hate fraction question, so find the lowest common denominator, which um, will be x. So I'm going to take this and multiply by x, multiply this by x, multiply this by x. The first one will be x squared plus, the next one the x is cancelled, so it'll just be a 6, is equal to x times 5 would be 5x. Move this to this side. So I'll have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Notice I put the 5x in the right order there. It's equal to 0. Now I can either use a quadratic formula. I can factor it. Any tool you can use to solve uh, quadratic equations. Okay, So x is equal to a 2 or a 3. Notice also if you put a 2 or a 3 in there, it doesn't give you a zero on the bottom, so both of those answers would be correct. Okay.